we've come a long way uh, with treatment of uh, pH positive ALL. And uh, it might be interesting to note that the uh, survival is probably now no worse than in the Philadelphia negative, and in some cases almost might be better. Uh, the pivotal change uh, was the introduction of tyrosine kinase inhibitors, which uh, probably leads to the first question that many people ask, which TKI should be used. Important to note that it is a, a really critical to start as early as possible because any delay in starting a TKI is certainly going to be uh, to have an adverse effect. Uh, in many countries, uh, the first generation TKI Matanip is still um, the only approved TKI and can still be considered the standard. Um, the problem in answering this question of which TKI to use is that there are no randomized trials comparing any of these directly. So we, we have to uh, infer uh, on the efficacy based on mostly relatively small phase two uh, trials. Uh, there are a number of uh, studies that have looked at uh, dazatinib and milotinib. Both of them uh, induce similarly high complete remission rates. Um, also more and deeper molecular responses. Um, and there is an indication compared with historical controls uh, that they may have longer disease-free and overall survival. Uh, in a population that is not transplanted, that does not go uh, undergo allogeneic transplant, uh, meaning, for example, elderly. In patients uh, who are transplanted, so younger patients who uh, receive induction, maybe a consolidation cycle, and then uh, are slotted for transplant, uh, it is not clear that any of the other TKI are actually superior. Um, the new kid on the block, in a way, is ponatinib, a uh, very potent um, kinase inhibitor, which has one uh, very interesting strength in that it uh, inhibits the T359 gatekeeper mutation. It's the only one of the approved BCR-able-directed TKI that does so. Um, and the limited data that is available is um, to suggest that it it may uh, substantially increase um, the the outcome, but again, this has not been proven, and there is no direct comparison, uh, which um, will actually be done in a forthcoming trial by the European Working Group for Adult ALL, which will, in the three arm trial, have a comparator with imatinib plus chemotherapy versus uh, not in the, uh, plus the same chemotherapy in an elderly population, which uh, leads actually to another aspect uh, of, of modern treatment, um, which will be addressed in the third arm of this randomized trial, uh, in that uh, one will be interested to see if the introduction of immunotherapy, in this case, blinatumumab, uh, will actually in improve uh, outcome uh, and in the combination with the TKI um, in the EVAL-03 trial, it will be panatinib, it will be able to replace chemotherapy. Um, so I, I think that the, uh, the TKI issue uh, will be resolved in a couple of years by such trials, um, but I, I think it is still legitimate to use essentially all of them if you pay attention to the clinical context and also pay attention to the response of the patient, uh, especially the molecular response. Uh, transplant, for, I think, is still the gold standard against which you should compare other treatments, um, especially in a, in a fit and younger population. Um, and... There are a number of other drugs that uh, may contribute, but I think at the moment, TKI and probably blinatumumab uh, as, as a bite are the front runners. Uh, Post-transplant, I, I think it's been increasingly addressed that one has a maintenance period with TKI um, and the, the results that can now be achieved if you really pay attention to detail and also respond quickly by switching therapy if the molecular response is not 
doing is not so good, or you lose the molecular response, um, then results can be quite encouraging. Um, but we are certainly not at the end of, of our need to improve treatment.